guys, as you can see here, I'm taking off the original hey. signal lights. Okay, after a little fight and tussle to get these out of the, you know, a square peg out of a round hole doesn't work well. I'm gonna be cutting it here and cutting it here and splicing it with the new ones to make one clear cut thing. Now, as you can see, anywhere that I see anything that's cut, I'll be putting some black tape, okay? You wanna make sure nothing is frayed. Connected the wires. Here's the wires that are connected for the LED. I connected it, put it through the bottom. Now, okay, you see now we're putting the crimping of the wires nice and tight. Now we're gonna burn them. Well, actually, we're gonna melt them. The shrinkless. Butt splice, waterproof, crimp heat shrink. So we crimped it. Now we're going to heat it so no water gets in. Here we go, guys. One of the tip, guys, when you remove your old lights, don't throw this little rubber sealer for the hole. It holds the wires in so the wires never touch the edge of the sheet metal. You don't want it to cut. Remember, reconnect this so when you push this in, voila, wires will not get frayed. Using a, a Wagner heater gun. This baby is hot. All right. Remember, Dad's fingers are here. All in one place. There you go. See? Isn't that pretty? Put to the other side. Bam. Now we're going to the other side. There she goes. Now I'm going to flip it, turn it. I mean, I'm going to turn it. So I can, ah, my, my finger. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh, a little bit more, see? You can see it. There you go. Has to be nice, tight seal, guys. We want, we want go ahead. All right. Ain't that pretty? Up to date, 21st century lights. As you can see on the roof side on top there's two lights the left one is the old the right one is the new led what a difference what a difference